Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of McMillan and Morrow. I'm Dr. Sean McMillan, this is my co-host Rich Morrow. Yes it is. And we got on headphones, you know what that means. Means we got a video coming. Means we got a video. We're starting with videos, people. Welcome to the future. <laughs> video, <laughs> videos and everything. <laughs> Did that make you, that make you yeah. choke? You know, we used to read these stories, now we get to watch them. We're moving on up. Thank you, legal people. <laughs> we love you at this show. <laughs> so, like you said, we're going to start off with a video today. And um, let me preface before I show this video. Preface. Good word. She's okay. Okay. And she won. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. What is happening? <laughs> it looked like people were sliding down those hill head first. Oh, okay, now I can see. What the hell is going on? Oh, oh, wow. Damn. Man down. <laughs> Wait, I feel like we ought to watch wow. that. Wow. Are we allowed to watch it twice? Yeah, yeah run that back. We ought to run, run that, that back. back. It would took a while before we even knew what was really Wait, going on. you still know what happened? Uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get so they're running down the hill? This is uh start going pretty fast. This is some stuff white people do. <laughs> Wait, look at the guy. Oh, yeah. The it, face was that a woman? I, uh -huh. I guess it was. <laughs> that was a that woman. Who they were talking about? <laughs> I thought women were smarter than men. <laughs> That's what I always heard. My dear oh, sister. Wow. Oh man. This, this oh, look like God. this look like it looks like it was in Europe somewhere. Yeah. England. It was in the UK. In the UK. You said yeah. that, didn't you? Yep. According to the Guardian, yeah, this UK. this looks like a very European thing to do. Yeah, it's extremely <laughs> European. Tyler, you want to say something for your people? I mean, hey, my people. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> running down hills. It's but you don't even know what they're. So I'm gonna give you context on what's going on. Okay. Now. Do we, we need the these things on because they drive? Oh, for this part, no, you don't have to. Okay. Let's take, 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 take it off. So, <laughs> go ahead. Just so y'all are aware of what was going on in this this segment. Describe it for a woman won. A UK cheese rolling race, despite being knocked unconscious. So she won, but she was knocked that out. That was her. She <laughs> so she won the race. Because she hit the ground face first and flipped <laughs> through the finish line. <laughs> out. And her ass was totally knocked out. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. It just goes to show you can win in, in, in a multiplicity of ways. <laughs> so she was 19 years away. old and she was from Canada. She was Canadian, actually. I expect yeah. better from the Canadians. <laughs> I expect Americans and Europeans generally to do stupid stuff, but not Canadians. I'm yeah. so disappointed you with they you, Canada. They usually do a little bit better than us in that category. Canadians are more even, and now we got one chasing cheese down a hill. And so, <laughs> there was a seven-pound wheel of cheese that she was chasing. You get, what, do you get, what do you get for winning? Do you know? A trophy. A trophy? Yeah. Accolades. <laughs> this woman, this woman almost died for a trophy? <laughs> this just goes to show you how stupid people will just do anything. But you, most people don't need a reward to do things like this. You know, I do. Some people just want to go do something I like need, that. I need cash. I do, too. It's a million dollars. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me say something. You put $10 million at the bottom of that hill? You'll do all kinds of stuff. I'm running know. down the hill. <laughs> You'll run down the hill naked. For I'm going to knock body. Tyler over. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> you'll be your way over. I'm going to trample win. Tyler. Tyler, don't be next to me at the bottom of the hill. I'll be cartwheeling past you. you no, know, you <laughs> My won't. long-ass limbs. Man. I, I'm going to, ooh, I'm sabotaging you. So <laughs> she was chasing a seven-pound cheese. I wheel. can be bought, people, <laughs> just not for cheese. Not for cheese. I don't care. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, no, not for cheese. But she was knocked out after she fell. What like, was that face you made that you associated with cheese? Over, because I'm lactose it's intolerant, cheese, and I'm like, oh, okay. I, I probably oh. shouldn't. I thought cheese was cold for something like pizza. No, 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 no. I can be bought for pizza, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Not, not, look, look, people, not pizza. Wink, wink. Pizza. pizza. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's going to be, yeah, our code word for everything now. But she regained confident consciousness in the medical tent, and she had to be told that she won. She didn't even know she won the race. 
Um, but she expressed her joy and said that the race was a good experience. So this is a regular event that they do every year. It's like a cheese wheel race, apparently, in England. It sounds very white. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sounds very white. So what would black people be chasing down about? Can we go there? Money. <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> you put a big old box of money and roll it down that hill. You would see people the, from all over the country the trying to get The Negroes are race. going to get it. And I'm going to be right with them. <laughs> oh, man. That's how they should start doing the lottery from now on. No, if we, we would kill each other. People would kill each other before yeah. that mountain. Just before listen. they got to the bottom of that mountain. You know, don't, lottery people don't listen to him. We don't Ooh. need death. That's actually crazy, though. I do. I am surprised that there's not some kind of big reward. And you know what's funny? You know how Tyler, we, he's starting to learn. He's starting to understand. What's he trying to understand? One of his talking points on this article was, would you attend or compete? Which he knows we would not unless there was substantial reward. In the words of Courtney, he said, is this white people? <laughs> it is definitely white people. You just cursed. I did. But that was now you remember text. what the old the rule is? You have to take something off every time you curse. You don't want to see my toes, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I forgot hair. that was the rule. It Damn. Is. No cursing, man. We on TV. My bad. I thought we were allowed to. No, that is white people mess, and it is. And look, white folks get to have a mess. Everybody, every people has has their. Has so, are you a cheese person at all? Whoa. <laughs> you know how people just eat cheese by themselves? It just came to me. I'm like, now, that's not we, something we, I feel no, like no, most no, black no, people wait, grew wait, up doing. When you say cheese, you mean cheese? <laughs> just cheese. Or cheese? No, real cheese. 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 Do I eat, of course I eat cheese. By itself. I, I've eaten cheese with mustard. Don't judge Where me. Where the hell did you learn that? <laughs> what, what, did you, what did you look at me like that for? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, a, that's a combo I'm not going near. That's a new one. <laughs> I'm going near. Going near. <laughs> Comments on that one. Yeah. Cheese with mustard. What kind of mustard and cheese? Like the goldens, the real spicy mustard. It tastes good. Interesting. Yeah. Was it like a, a stick of cheese? Like that? Like the thin? The no, like a slice. Soup? You take a slice, put a little mustard on it. That sounds like a poor man's meal. <laughs> I well, welcome to. Is that when you did it? Welcome to more than half that of my life. Like, that sound like literally eating like sugar sandwiches. Oh, hold on a second. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never heard well, that hold, term, hold, 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 yeah. What you laughing at? You about no, to, to get your deal. head taken off. <laughs> <laughs> you I've had my fair share of like, you know, cold like bread and cheese sandwiches. Okay, because you know. I'm about to get you. But I, I know <laughs> it when I hear it, and I'm like, you ain't just eating that right now. You ain't doing that by choice randomly, are you? Yeah. No. No. I could. <laughs> <laughs> no, but don't you just listen. Because there were definitely, I, I remember the days I used to, man, put cinnamon on some bread, put that thing in the microwave. And eat it. <laughs> and eat it. Listen. All mm. kind of stuff. I experimented with all the dressings in my fridge and some bread at one point. <laughs> listen, probably a minute. I didn't have a Caesar salad dressing bread sandwich. I didn't have Mayonnaise are just friend. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've never eaten cheese by itself, so cheese wouldn't excite me enough to chase down no damn mountain. I'll tell you that. No, I wouldn't. Because they probably get the roll I'm of cheese. I'm not chasing on. down a mountain for it. No, I know you're not. Yeah, I was no. just asking if you eat cheese by itself, because that's not something most black people I know do. No? No, not cheese by itself. Mm -mm. Okay. What's something black people eat by itself? Watermelon. <laughs> what else would you eat it with? <laughs> Watermelon. I see other cultures put you just salt and all kind of on they watermelon too. Again. Three. Oh, I did it twice. Uh -huh. uh, we'll talk about that after. But um, you're gonna get a good talking to. <laughs> so, oh, we not we actually not allowed to use profanity on this show. This is not the first time we've had. No. We've used it so many times though. You've no. used it. The way you try to justify things. I'm just over here thinking. Wait, have really we been getting in trouble for this this whole time? That's what I want to know. Yes, you yes. should. Welcome to reality. Oh, we're in trouble. Welcome to the world outside of well, your look, head. Look, people, I got to keep my job, so I'm gonna move on from the cheese topic. How about that? How about it? All right, let's do that. No one does nosy better than me. Photos. We found 378 photos. He good with me, dude, because I don't you know how he fell there. These are years of snooping, okay? I know you nosy, too. Head over to Nosy, where you can watch full episodes of The Karamo Show and be nosy with me.
So, according to Insider, we're going to the Vatican, so you already know. <laughs> Could get real interesting here. According to the Insider, the Roman Catholic Church has launched an inquiry after two nuns came back from their missionary trips pregnant. I don't need what, what I need an inquiry for. <laughs> you got all the proof and evidence you need, what, right? What, there. what do y'all need to st find out? We know the what. We just don't know the who. You're right. And okay. check me out. Obviously, this is the Roman Catholic Church. Um, so they went on separate missionary trips, these nuns, in Africa, mm -mm. <laughs> breaching the rules of chastity. One of the women, a mother superior, was working at an institute that helps fallen women and their children. The other woman belonged to a covenant in Sicily and discovered her pregnancy after being hospitalized. The church, they expressed uh, consternation and acknowledged that the nuns breached the rules of chastity but emphasized the welfare of their children. So they're still going to, you know, make sure that the children are taken care of, I guess, I suppose. But I don't know. Are they going to you know, kick them out of the church because of this? Is that what happens when something like this happens? I, I, don't, I don't know. know. I, I, I am, like I am no expert on <laughs> what Roman, nuns Roman, punishments Roman, are. What, <laughs> for having sex, I don't know. Um, so nuns technically aren't allowed to have sex then? No. At all. They take like a, their whole lives? Yeah, they take a vow of chastity. Okay, so I knew That's I know that chastity. I just didn't know if they, once they marry, maybe were allowed to. Once they marry? Who's getting married? Can't nuns, marry. Don't, nuns can't get married either. No, no. See, I never knew that they weren't allowed to. I mean, no. you hear about nuns, but I never Wait, thought. Why do you think they're so mean? <laughs> they're not having orgasms. If you, if you was having an orgasm, you'd be nicer. So you want to hear a Tyler question? <laughs> Let me hear it. Where do you think the term missionary came from? Listen. <laughs> Listen. Mm -mm. I will not be baited. But <laughs> That's what, a question. What, 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 I'm ignoring that. But what, what I think is interesting here is that the nuns, the nuns should have claimed that the baby was an immaculate conception. They should have said that Jesus <laughs> yeah. was the daddy. And then, they and then, tried to no, sell what? That all they and, to. and then, and then the church would have been like, yes, we believe it too. And then they would have been stars, no, not not just Jesus. <laughs> And then the daddy would show up and be like, it wasn't no immaculate conception. Then he'd be straight from Kenya. It'd be me. He was. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about it was a missionary trip all right. right. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know. Let people have sex, people. Why so why you, why you think we turn, none should, you know, be allowed to do I that? don't think anybody should be forced to be celibate in order to be righteous. Sexuality to me has nothing to do with righteousness. Yeah. Or um, how many times? Nothing to do. If that's what God is concerned about, then He's a piss poor God. Yeah. Like God, you ain't got nothing better to be concerned about than who I'm having sex with. Yeah, we know that's not. We got hungry kids. We got world war. We got pestilence and violence and rape and murder. And you care about who I'm looking at, who, who I'm looking at when I'm masturbating. Yeah. Or that I'm masturbating. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that that's the case. I don't think that's. I mean, I, but but that but we we've made that the center of what God cares we have, about. We have a lot, and it's crazy. I was thinking about it the other day um, before so much um, of you know society was created the way that we know it today in modern times. People live life completely differently. I feel like than what people focus on. You know, making the center of their lives today. And I've always wondered if they felt like... There were a lot of incomplete thoughts in that sentence. A lot of incomplete thoughts? Yes. Yeah, probably, because I'm still figuring out how I want to work. <laughs> it was I like, okay. <laughs> what? I don't know, yeah. But I'm just thinking, like, I had a thought the other day just randomly sitting by myself. I was like, I wonder if people, you know, hundreds of years ago um, thought that they were you know, living righteous when they were doing all of these mm. crazy things we hear about. It's like... We think some crimes are crazy now. Some of the stuff that you, man, going to the Vatican last year and just seeing the artwork alone blew my mind because I was like, first of all, there were no pictures or videos or nothing back then. For somebody to paint this, this is something they had to have seen 
or something that they're, you know, imagining themselves, right? A lot of those drawings, scriptures, paintings, some of the most violent things I've ever seen. Like babies getting killed, like people holding people's heads and, you know, mothers and children being attacked by whole armies. And I'm like, we're relishing in how beautiful the scripture and the architecture is. But when you look at it, I'm like, man, we're at a church right now, technically. With violence on the wall. With violence on well, the look, wall. Well, I'm, I'm not entirely, I don't entirely know where you're, where you're pressing us. But in response to that, I will say this. The churches are built by men, not by God. Absolutely. And human beings construct these institutions around the things that they value. Mm -hmm. And just because your church says something doesn't mean that God said it. You're right. Or just because your sacred book says something doesn't mean that God said it. You're right. I think people have to separate those two things yeah. and realize that you can, you know, you can be a part of a community that believes, to bring it back to, mm -hmm. to this, to celibacy and chastity. Mm -hmm. And fine, if that's what you want to do, then do that. But don't think that this is something that is a requirement of the divine. And that they're tied into it. In order to have a relationship with the mm -hmm. divine. You know, I, I just, and I, I don't think repression mm -hmm. is what God is after. Yeah, what I was talking, or the reason why I brought it up, though, was because I looked at the violence, and I was like, these same people were the ones that claimed that they were representing, you know, God in the name of the violence that they were doing. And for me, I'm just like, did they feel they were being blessed or doing, you know, or living righteous then when these things were happening? And I'm sure they did. I wonder how it was spun back then, because I know it wasn't just looked at as violent. It like was spun the it. way you just said it. This yeah. is what it means to be a good, whatever, believer. Yeah. Mm. But that's what people do. People will, that's crazy to me. you know, nowadays what we think is normal mm -hmm. to previous generations is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. But that's just how it works. And, and but my, my point is I don't mind if people change. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if people say this is this and this is that. Just don't put it on God. Don't, don't try to convince me that it's right by telling me that God said it. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what the hell God said. Yeah. You don't know what God is saying or what God might say. Mm -hmm. So why don't you just own it? Mm -hmm. And then you and I can have the debate of whether or not it works for me. But don't think because you slap it under in, in, in the name of religion mm -hmm. that that ends the conversation. Yeah. So chastity and, and celibacy to me mm -hmm. is ridiculous. Yeah. Because you end up creating deviant people. Yeah. Just horny. Horny and holding them back from their natural Yeah, I mean, just desire. out of control. <laughs> Just well, but I understand, I said this on another show, being celibate for a season, totally fine. Mm -hmm. Headphones on, people. Okay. You know what it means when we okay. slap these on. It means we have a video. We're in the 21st century. And this is just a warning. Yeah. I have no idea what this is going to be. As is often the case. As is often the case. Play the video. <laughs> As is often the case. <laughs> finally caught that. I huh? just caught that. Yeah, was... <laughs> A little late, but I'm there. I'm there. It's all right. All right, here we go. Watch this. What the hell? Is that a tiger? Is that a tiger? And he's smiling. <laughs> oh, oh, that's hell no. Oh, that's what I want to do. He's living my dream. Number four. That's it? No, number four. Go to four. All right. Go to four. I love this guy. Oh, yeah. No, he's living the dream. He's living the dream. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's lovely. I love this music. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look, see, he's perfectly Look, fine. Look, living with the tiger. So, <laughs> living with his dream. Knowing living with that the tiger. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not the tiger's going to eat your <laughs> ass one day because it's a tiger. Sing with me, Rich. I can't. Living with the tiger. That's not my Aaron, song. join I'm in. On the remix. Tiger's going to eat you one day. That tiger loves him. Look at that love. That tiger That's don't love, love him. Right there. Look at him. That tiger he only him. That tiger puts up with him because he feeds him. No, the day he, he stops did. feeding him, he's going to be the meal. That tiger looked like he feed himself, too. <laughs> mm -mm. But he's living my dream. 
in a nutshell, which is why I'm so glad I didn't know what that video was going to be. That just made my that was, that was Tyler's gift that to you. That was definitely. Yeah, thank you really so cool. much, video Tyler. Video segment for Rich. <laughs> so for you guys that don't know, I'm planning on a numbnut who wants a tiger. Point, that's what he is. And that's a prime example of why. Look how beautiful that was. And the music just made it better. But it was really the video that it's was It's a tiger. <laughs> It's running down the, the river. It's going to eat you. But it's like a big dog, basically. It's just a big cat. You do know that it's not it's a big cat. like a big dog. It's like a big cat. That's going to eat you. It's a big cat. It's not going to eat me. It's known me since he was a baby. Or she. You, you turned into a whole other person. I know. <laughs> He's reverted. I, just I, letting you know. You reverted to your, like your old it, self, right? I'm letting it be. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've got that's the most excitement I've ever seen. It's, it's, it's a cat. Yeah, yeah, house, cat. house cat it's scratch a, you too. Is house that cats Justin are, here? Yeah, a house a house cat can scratch it's you. A cat dog dander. can scratch you. I got a scratch on my <laughs> arm right now from one of those dogs. What did he say? <laughs> it's all that cat dander getting in my eye. <laughs> now, honestly, tigers probably do have a lot of dandruff, I would imagine too. Well, but, you know what? You have a tiger. I don't. It's not my problem. I'm gonna invite you over when it's a baby. The so hell you are! Well, <laughs> so that you can just get to you know know him as he's. I would come over if it was the baby. See now, if it was, I mean, like not this big. That's but too like, big. You're talking about baby, baby. I'm talking about. That's it, like the day it comes out, and I'm, then the next day it's like that big. So I'm talking about the 12 hours after it comes out to mama. <laughs> you cool with that? Cool with that. First steps, you cool. After that, you get no, it. no, 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 no. You get a little big. Yeah. No. I saw I saw a video of this little baby lion. Mm-hmm. It was so cute. And the, he was living with these cats. All the people. And this lion was driving these cats crazy because <laughs> he kept stalking them. You know, lions was naturally was just. He was just naturally <laughs> slapping them at the leg. They fall, and the cat was like, "What is wrong with this thing?" Yeah. It's a lion. It was a lion, not a cat. It was like, it was like <laughs> you bigger than this boy now. But in about a week, you're going to be five times your size. You might want to run. Yeah. Don't get too comfortable around. Have you ever seen um, cats that grow up around dogs and how they act like dogs? And, you know, they kind of have an identity crisis where they believe they're dogs or animals that act like dogs. Like, there's videos. You'd be on TikTok now. There's videos of, like, goats and, like, donkeys that play with horses or dogs, and they really think that What is like in your dogs. algorithm? I don't know. All kind of stuff. Yeah. Animals. A lot of puppies. A Animal, lot of puppies. Animals, don't come up, <laughs> animals don't come up in my algorithm. Oh, so you don't even see them. I won't tell, you, I won't tell you what does come up. Half of my <laughs> But it's, it's not animals. Because as, as soon as I see an animal, I flip right by. I don't, <laughs> so they know he don't want to see none of that. I flip right. <laughs> you got less I, I than a second on any that animal. That phone video. can't even <laughs> flip up fast enough. I don't see no damn bunch of animals. I'm about animal. to start sending you some animal memes. And on that note, we're going to go to this next Whoa, video. Whoa, we got another video? Yeah, I want to send you a video. This one's for you. Let's see what you say about video. this. Video. We this got more. Hold on. We got a network. We have a video. We have the announcement to the people. People, we got a video. Yeah, this one's We have you, technology guys. on this show now. <laughs> Curious what it's uh, amazing. I, was gonna say. I know other shows don't have this, but we do. <laughs> video. <laughs> Ready for it. Play the video. A lot of people aren't going to like this one. Oh. Cheating isn't a bad thing. Society has brainwashed you into always following the rules, but you don't have to comply. This process started when we were just kids. School taught us that if we cheated on a test, then we're getting trouble. However, cheating is what gets you ahead in life. Take this for example. If you got a nerd to do your maths homework, then you'd be punished. But if you hired a chief financial officer to take care of your numbers in your business, you'd be applauded. You need to use other people's skill sets to your advantage, as you'll never be as successful going it alone. Just curious. Okay. That actually is an interesting take. You're some white people, man. <laughs> that's what that is. That's white folks thinking. Cheese rolling right there. Yeah, that's some, that's some white folks rolling the cheese. But that's only in regard to cheating in one way. Yeah, I mean, if if the point, the only valid thing about it is, if if people have a better skill set than you, and you cheating. employ them to help you, that's not actually cheating. No. That's, that's, so what he's talking about makes... It's hiring. What, it's hiring, thank you. Yeah. But, but he needs to get his terms together. <laughs> Cheating is something different. Yeah. You know, 
is when there's a set of rules and you, you know. And you actively, wantonly, aggressively, consciously decide yeah. that, that you're going to disavow them yeah. so that you can selfishly, win, you know, win and, and, and I don't, that's never okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the principle, right? Yeah, I mean, that's just, what is he talking about? <laughs> and that's exactly how y'all got Australia, New Zealand, America, the Bahamas, and people ended up in chattel slavery. Yeah. A little racial. A little racial. Tyler. A little bit. Sorry. <laughs> it's true. We're just going to break the rules. You know what white folks do? Tyler, you know what y'all do? Please tell me. Y'all will <laughs> obey all the traffic laws and then put people in slavery. I'd rather y'all disobey the traffic laws. Tell me I'm wrong. I, I, I can't argue. White folks you. will not break any driving laws. They'll go to speed limit. I wish they would. Especially they will. Night. They will turn, they'll make the signal with their hands, <laughs> right? And then go, to, then go to Australia and take the whole country. And then steal the whole country. It's like, what? I thought, <laughs> I, I thought you were ethical. They only do big crimes. Big crimes. <laughs> <laughs> big crimes. Big crimes. But I don't know. I mean, that I guy. That guy's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's an idiot, and he is what's wrong with the world. And, yeah. and let me be fair, and not just white folks, because there are a lot of black folks out here cheating, too, mm -hmm. who think that it's absolutely okay to just sort of be unethical and immoral. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that matters are the results. Yeah. And I, I, I get out of the bed in the morning to make it clear to people that the process also, how you do something is just as important as what you end up doing or benefiting from what you've done. So, no, he, he's an idiot. He, he, is, he is a, what's the, what's, he's like the scum of the moral because I feel like no. it's an example to me of however you want to look at a situation, you can find a way to have it fit your, you know, ideology if you really look hard enough. Of course no you can. What you can is. make everything okay. Everything okay. <laughs> and that's all he sounds good. like he wants is other people to feel okay with him about that. Because to him it was probably a thought he felt you, was so profound. Yeah, you know? when you learn in school, don't break the rules. And, they, and the rules over things that imprison you. <laughs> The rules are also the things that keep people from killing you. And getting put in jail. Yeah, the rules are also the things with his old ass. The rules are the things that keep people from running you over, old man. And I'm not, I'm not against old people. I'm just saying it's the rules mm -hmm. that keep us from putting the, our old people out to pasture yeah. with no food. And they end up dying of starvation. We follow rules. We have norms and behaviors that keep us as humans in a community. And giving people more permission to violate them is threatening the life of the whole. Mm. No. It's like people say, I did this because I didn't have a job or we didn't have any money. Now, I understand that. Yeah. But I, what I always say to people is, own, own what you did, but don't act like what you did was the only option you had. Because you know it wasn't. Because yeah. it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm fine with what you I'm not fine with it, but I am. You I, understand. Yeah, that. I understand you mm. did what you had to do. But don't act like it was the only thing you could do. Yeah. You there's just some, didn't want to do anything else. There's some places you passed up <laughs> when you, you went to rob that bank. That. <laughs> <laughs> there's some places you could have worked, by the way, when you went to rob that bank or sell that whatever. And you probably passed them on the way there. You, you passed them on the way there. <laughs> right? That's you, a good point. You're standing out in front of a store selling drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You did what you had to do, but yeah. it wasn't the only thing you could have done. Yeah, yeah. It may have been to you the best. Just own it. Yeah, that's all you want. This guy. He's not owning it. Is giving people permission to be crazy. Yeah. And then Cheat. using the word cheating, and it, it, he's not even describing cheating. That's the funny part to me yeah. is that that's what, not even what he was describing. That's not cheating at all. No, no. <laughs> I thought he was about to talk about relationships for a second. Yeah, that's like. That's and like, then he talked about. That's like because I don't speak Russian, it's cheating to have Google. Translator. Translator. It's not cheating, <laughs> unless I'm taking a test. Yeah, exactly. And, and the point of a test is to prove your proficiency in something. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not being tested, it's not cheating getting help. So I just saw, a, and this is, has nothing to do with this. I just saw a quote that Kanye had. Oh, God. And he has his moments, though, for sure, where he says Are we says allowed to talk about him? him? Yeah, we can talk about him. Okay. He said a quote, though. It wasn't a bad thing or anything. But he said, um, if it were, you know, when you grow up, 
and you are taking tests, you're constantly getting questioned, and therefore, you know, those are tests when you get asked questions to become proficient in something. So he was saying he doesn't like answering a lot of questions from people because, you know, it ends up becoming a matter of life feeling like a test all the time if that's all you're doing is constantly having to answer for what you do to people all the time. And Am I allowed to drink this on air? Yeah, you can drink whatever you want. Just cover up the logo. Oh, ooh. <laughs> our audience probably think our bosses are beating us or something. The way oh, we right. beat everybody beat mine. <laughs> they, they ain't thinking that. Uh, one thing they ain't thinking is somebody they, beating mine. They probably think they're threatening us at this point. No, 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 no. Because it's all legal. You see how it's I tried legal, to. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't do that again. That's gonna be funny. <laughs> Just don't do that again. It's I gonna know. be funny. I'll drink from McMillan and Mark. Hey, we got mugs, guys. people. Yeah. We're, on, moving we're moving up in the up world. Up. We got mugs. Ain't nothing good in this mug. <laughs> that need to be the new theme song. <laughs> moving on up. No. What happened? What? Go back to Kanye before you get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> go back to so Kanye. Go back to Kanye. We can't have that be the intro music. <laughs> no, no. He, said, he no. said it's so bad. You got to go back to Kanye. <laughs> Woo, Jesus. That was funny. I'm going to spit out this water. <laughs> We're going to roll today. So, I don't even remember what the hell that story was about. Kanye don't remember either. Kanye don't remember either. Yeah, so, you know. I was just wondering, though, why did I ask you that question? I don't even remember. We need to probably move on, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. it don't matter. It clearly wasn't that important. What, what were we talking about? That's what oh, I was the like, cheating. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what was the story? I lost, I lost all that. I don't know, man. People, let me just say this: oh, man. <laughs> it's not cool to cheat, mm-hmm. and it's not cool to cheat not because people haven't cheated you. Because there are a lot of things that you should have gotten that you didn't get, and people took things that they should not have taken. Mm-hmm. But think about what it does to the soul to know that you have secured something that was never truly yours. Mm. Sometimes it's not worth it. And I'll tell you why. Because it's a slippery slope. Mm-hmm. Somebody who will cheat will lie. We'll Somebody steal. who will lie will steal. Somebody who will steal will kill. And you wonder, how did so-and-so become this horrible thing? They started listening to this white man. It's like gateway drugs. Yeah, you started cheating. Oh, it's okay for me to... No, it's not okay. Fight for your integrity. Integrity is the word. Yeah, fight for it. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, I'm not perfect and nobody else is, but when stuff is just obviously wrong... So you want a TikTok term? When people say somebody's a real one, it's not even a TikTok term, it's just a term. You know what they're referring to when they say that, though? What are they referring to? Usually their integrity. It's like they're... So-and-so's they're a real one? Yeah, and that's usually saying, like, they're going to stand on their principles, or they'll say they stand on business. Have you heard that one? Stand on business. You ever never heard that one? Why are you talking to me like I'm a white person? I'm asking, have you ever heard stand on business? <laughs> yes. I'm almost offended. I don't know. I'm asking you. That might not be something people use in your circles. I'm blacker than you, boy. <laughs> I'm just asking you. <laughs> so it's the same situation. You better rerun them stories. Look, it's the same situation. If I was you, I'd rerun them stories. I'm just letting you know. That's what I so, do. For people that didn't know, that was why I was asking you. Like, you, you like one of them kids get beaten? So anyway. Because you didn't know when to stop. It's the integrity thing. Read the story. No, I'm telling you, though. Mm-mm. Like, it's the integrity thing, though. Like, story. You know, integrity is something that I feel like is being story. lost more. <laughs> you don't even want to hear the next story because it's about no. an animal. You know, it's about an animal, and I know you don't want to hear about it. I'd, so, re- I'd rather talk about an animal. Than integrity? Yes. You don't think people need to learn about integrity on this show? You're giving me black lessons. I'm not giving you black <laughs> you lessons. You have lost your damn That's mind. That's not even just a black thing, I You feel have like. lost that is not what even, little bit of hey, sense Aaron, you had coming out of Cleveland. Do only black people talk about standing on business? <laughs> don't get Aaron it's in like this. standing on principle. Don't, don't get Aaron in this fight. This is between me and you. He know. I'm, don't, I'm just saying. Have don't you heard get, the term before? Don't. Uh, ain't, ain't falling for that. <laughs> 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 He's like, I'm not giving uh, uh, this. <laughs> He's like, no, the elephants are fighting. It's the grass that suffers. Have you ever heard the term, yes or no? Tyler's like, I'm grass. Uh, uh, You're elephants. He hasn't. No. Damn. 
White people don't ever say that, huh? I thought they might have. They be saying everything else we say at the time. According to the first post, Japanese people have lost their romantic ability and it's leading to low birth and marriage rates, a politician out there claims. Um, they're saying that because their birth and marriage rate is plummeting and it's not a result of the you know high cost of living or maintaining the family. It's just people literally just don't care about being romantic anymore. I wonder how you feel about that and what you think some of the contributing factors could be. But there's a difference between <clears throat> not wanting to be romantic or not wanting to have sex. Which one is it? I mean, they're using the word romantic, but um, I mean, that yeah. I think is what it boils down to. I mean, they're saying young people still want to marry to have a family, to have more children. But, you know, when buying a car or a house is so hard because of economic concerns, it's very difficult to have children. So they're more focused on, I guess, just the relationship than actually reproducing. It sounds like your, it sounds like your generation. <laughs> That's like that's that's what y'all are doing. A kid, a car, <laughs> car. I don't know what car. Family, is. YouTube, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube University, YouTube University, <laughs> or Oxford. Oh, don't make, don't get me to cussing. That that's gonna make me angry. That, more angry than the parent story. YouTube University, Oxford. The hell? So that asks, that makes me wonder. Okay, so you being such a reader, you know that you are. I know you're a big reader. Do you feel that the climate now? I can't see your face with this thing. In the I know, way. and I can't could get you move this, this crane. It's like a damn I mean, construction could you move this? site That's over better. here. That's better. Should I try to scoot up? A I feel like bit I'm talking to an instrument. You know, I was really having the. That's better. There we go. And don't edit this part out. Yeah, no, you can't edit this out. All right, you ready? So. Yes. <laughs> What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at you because I was literally doing the same thing as you. I could see you on one falling, Okay, but do you think that there's a huge difference, though, in romance in your generation versus, you know, the way things are now for your generation still? You know what I mean? Not just my generation because now it's, you know, the 2000s or whatever you're about to say. But do you think that your generation has changed with the times, or do you think you guys are still the romantic, you know? Well, okay, let me say this. I think every generation has its own attempts yeah. at romance. Mm -hmm. What makes my generation different from yours is that we don't do it through a phone. That's, that's true. Um, for example, if I'm in a relationship with you and all we do is text, mm -hmm. it ain't real to me. Yeah. If I don't hear your voice or can't see your face, we're not in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, because the, everything that we have is really just in my head, right? Because you're never actually your generation. You can have a whole romance. Oh yeah, via text. You can have a life, and y'all <laughs> y'all don't see any problem with never talking on the phone, never FaceTiming, and almost never seeing each you other. You gotta quit using this word y'all as if I'm grouped you, in you this part, whole you category all the time. You're one of them, man. No, you can't. If, I'm if, 30 years if, old now. If I can't deny the stupidity of Generation X. You can't deny the stupidity of the millennials. Hey, the millennials are a step better, I feel like, at least. Whoa. In that regard. Whoa. Because we were the last ones on the cusp of not having that. I didn't have it when I was younger. Like, my first crushes and things growing up, I wasn't allowed to text them. Okay, you mean, you're, you, know. you mean older millennials. Older millennials. But the full, That's the where full, I'm at. The full you keep on grouping me into millennials. So where is the cutoff for millennials? Let I, me listen, find I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't traffic in I'm these things. Because I'm not Generation Z, and I'm not. Is there something in between? Uh, okay, I'm not Z. Z is after you. I know, but I'm saying, X, is there something in between me? No, it just goes okay. from X to millennial. So uh, X, you're, you're our children. Yeah. Okay? So what does baby that Baby boomers us? are my parents. Oh, they are? Yeah. I damn near thought you were a baby boomer. <laughs> I cracked you up, huh? Because the look on your face, you're about to jump off the <laughs> I, I, I thought about slapping the hell out of you. And then I thought, no, I love we him. We still on camera. We I, still on no, camera. Not just camera. I remember, like, I love him. I can't, I can't do that. But no, I literally, I genuinely haven't known where the, the cutoffs are. I thought my grandmother, you know, is part of, I don't, I think she's a baby boomer, I guess. Huh? Your grandmother's a baby boomer. Yeah, your mother's you. Generation X. She's in my generation. I just never knew, I guess Generation X is something I don't hear 
as often. That's why. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. There was a point we were trying to make with this. Uh, okay. I was trying to make with yeah, this. Yeah, I know. We oh, lost I got it. There we go. That, that <laughs> romance is different for every generation. Agreed. I think the thing that my generation still, you know, believes in contact, actual human contact. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, conversation. Mm-hmm. Face to face interaction. Your generation, not so much. And Generation Z, even worse. The ones after you, even yeah, worse. Yeah, it's getting it's, worse. It's all, it's love via a screen. Yeah. Let me tell you something about love, son. It don't work like that. Yeah. Because love is an actual decision that one makes mm -hmm. to be committed to someone and who they are and what they're aspiring to become that requires interaction. Yeah. Anything other than an actual interaction is you falling in love with something you invented in your head, Whew. which which is ultimately narcissistic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because the, it is the it is being in the presence of the other person that pulls on me, that extracts from me the best of who I am and the worst of who you are. Mm. If I never have to encounter that except through a screen. Or do some letters through Are a text. Are you ever really encountering it? You're never really required to do the work that love requires. Um, is the next story really yeah. about? It's about gators. Because according to the New York Post, which is crazy that the New York Post is writing this because it's in Florida, Florida man whose arm was chopped off by a gator, he was peeing in a pond because the bar line was too long. And he literally got his arm bit completely off by a gator just standing at the pond, peeing. How short is the man? Because <laughs> you know, if I'm peeing, question. my arms are nowhere near the water. Was it a midget? <laughs> what kind of... I'm confused. The gator was 10 and a half feet long, so it was a big gator. And honestly, I think I saw this video on social media. He tripped and sank into the water, so that was how it happened. So he was oh. on the edge, and you know how it's swampy in Florida some places? And he fell in the water. He slipped, and yeah. And the gator got his arm. Next thing you remember is that he woke up in the hospital, and the gator had bitten his, arm, his right arm off. Damn. Whole arm gone. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that, that should be our new thing on the show. Damn. Damn. When a gator eats your arm, you've had a bad day. The worst day. And the only reason that you did it was because you were trying to go pee outside. Oh, I got a story. You want to hear? Uh-oh. So I was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. okay. And I was down there speaking. Swamp country. Yeah, I was down there mm -hmm. speaking at an event. And so they took me out on the little boat with the big fan in the, the back. Airboat. Yeah, Yeah, airboat. I'm riding around. Mm -hmm. And we go to this little restaurant. And they're like, all right, Sean. That's how they talk. Sean. Yeah, all right, Sean. All right, Sean. Want mm -hmm. some gator? Want some gator? And I was like, alligator? <laughs> they were like, yeah. So they put some gator on the plate. Did you like it? Did I like it? Did I try it? You didn't even try it. <laughs> I looked at them like, what makes you think I look like Are I'm you smoking crack? Tastes like chicken. Heroin. I'm not eating no gator. Why not? No. Mm -mm. So why you draw the line at reptiles or something? You eat all kinds of other meat. Mm -mm. Why not gator? Mm -mm. Have you eaten deer or anything like that? Mm -mm. So you don't like gamey stuff. Here's where your inner whiteness comes out. <laughs> because now you two are about to have a whole conversation <laughs> about, all about all the crazy <laughs> crap that y'all have eaten. I haven't eaten that much crazy stuff, believe it or not. Yeah, I have had gator. Here's though. where it comes out right here. Here's where, here's where your European part. I've had... That's where that nose comes from. <laughs> I've had venison. See? And I have a Native American nose, first of all. Ooh, Be I, careful. I like that. That Cherokee. was good. That was good. Cherokee. I get you that. So, you give me some? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take that. that. I like so, that. I don't know. I don't like eating too, too many crazy animals either, but I'm wondering why you, don't, why you didn't want to try the gator, though, if you were in Louisiana. Because everybody around mm. you probably was eating it, wasn't they? They sure was. I bet they was. I Putting know they hot sauce that. on it. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. what I'm saying. Mm. You ain't mm. even mm. try it. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I got standards. What's probably the craziest food that you eat then that you've had or tried? Because you've been, you've traveled a lot. I know you've had some crazy mm -mm. offers. I don't least. participate. Offers at least. Even in Africa? Yeah. What'd you eat out, out there? French fries. <laughs> <laughs> and pizza. <laughs> French fries. All right. So you ain't on safari <laughs> if you're having French fries. No, no, no. 
No, I don't do no safari. <laughs> you crazy? Yeah, you don't like animals. You People, ain't going on no safari yeah. in Africa. Viewers, oh, no. chat. They act like they don't know me. <laughs> yeah, These I people, do. especially he's been on me I for knew 10 you years. I don't know safari in Africa. Let me tell you something. I'm not doing no sleep out in the woods. I stayed in a four star hotel. Air conditioning. With air conditioning. <laughs> And uh, room service. I believe that. You ain't got to tell me. I know. Now listen, and when you, go, when you go to some of these places, you only eat fried food because it kills all the... Yeah, bacteria. All, all the listen, you don't, not, I'm not, mm-mm. What's the craziest thing you've tried? I don't try crazy things. You've tried something crazy. I swear I haven't. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean... I want this answer. <clears throat> you got something that's going to surprise me. Never. As, as Your wheelhouse has always been... You've always been there. You've never like, all right, I'll try a bite of that. I'm adventurous in other ways. Yeah. But not this one. What about octopus? No. Yeah, I almost cussed. <laughs> Are you hot? The nasty looking octopus? Get the hell out. Oh no, I've tried um what's calamari? Octopus. Squid, isn't it? Oh yeah. I've eaten I've I'd like I took a piece yeah. of it and blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. like it. See, and some Tastes people like don't rubber. fry it, though. Some people don't fry it, either. Tastes like rubber. What about mussels? You like mussels? No, I, I don't, I've never eaten that. No. I have eaten calamari. Okay. Calamari isn't bad, though, but especially when they fry it. You yeah. probably like it But fried. it tastes like rubber. It is right. a little rubbery. I was like, this is yeah, disgusting. I'm, I'm a texture person, so I can respect that. I took a little bite, and then I was like, nope. I'm good. I tried nope. it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not very adventurous with food. Yeah. I try not. I, I'm getting better. Um, I had a friend growing up and her mom is Polish and her dad was Indian and they would always have different foods in there and they got me out of my shell because I used to almost think that they were making foods with completely different like vegetables and ingredients and meats but I really found out it's just a different combination with different spices so mm. you know culture to culture I feel like it's kind of surprising sometimes when you learn you know the but, culinary well, what do you mix with you mentioned Native American. What do you mix with? What are you? So I am African American. Yeah. I have Cherokee Indian in me. All black people say that, but keep going. But I actually do. If you saw my Nana, you would completely understand. My mm -hmm. great grandfather was full blown Indian. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I'm pretty sure my mom's dad, I think, had maybe some Jamaican in him. Mm. So between those and then my ancestors being from Egypt, I know that's about it. Have you taken like a, a, a DNA? I plan to, but I haven't yet. I've just known through my family history. You and should take it. Back. Yeah, I, I've actually wanted to. Because some, some of that may be, you know, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Some of that may be hyperbole. Yeah, it could be. Um, and then, but some of it may be true. Oh, true. So you should know. I think because of my hair. You know I'm Spanish. <laughs> Did you know that? I definitely didn't know that. Yeah. You do not ring Spanish. So hit, to me. I got a story. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, you just don't ring Spanish. Now, we just had a fight, people. We're about to have another one. I'm just saying, you told me my nose looked European, so I'm on your it head does. the rest of this it episode. First of all, you I ain't, ain't got no big bell pepper first, nose. First of all, nothing. you ain't on my head. I'm on I yours. I will be. I I'm will on be. Yours. Keep it up. Keep I'm it on up. yours, you old fish eyed Keep it up. Fool. Keep it up. That's <laughs> <laughs> the Native American in me. Look. <laughs> it, 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 you old fish eyed fool. People used to think that I had Asian in me, though, because of my eyes, believe it or not. Oh, I'm back to my story. I'm mm -hmm. making it about you. I wasn't trying to. And your little beauty. You let's, don't want to keep on commenting on my appearance. Let's talk about Well, <laughs> and proud of it. So, so here's the story. So, my sons had me take a. A DNA you took one. test, and it turns out that on my mother's side, West African. Okay. On my father's side, 100% Spanish. 100%? 100. Wow. It was so sh shocking that they sent a letter explaining it. <laughs> because they're like, you're probably not going to believe this. And the letter said, sometimes people have results that, that they don't expect. We send this letter to explain. They probably saw your picture and was like, he ain't going to believe this. Yeah, one hundred percent Spanish. Wow. What part of is it like Spain, Spain, or Spain, Spain? Wow. So I'm actually European. That's crazy. You said your dad. So now I can talk about white people <laughs> because <you're not> <laughs> now I can talk about Europeans so, all I want. Nobody can accuse me of being a racist because so I'm never not. met your biological father, right? Or mother. Yeah. So, hmm, that's really interesting, huh? One hundred percent. Now, where the hell? Is Are you Spanish? Spanish? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, I'm like, I'm wondering what they look like. That, you have to be the that, darkest listen, man you're not that, that African took over, boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, it, it is 
one. It, a hundred percent. Did you take more than one to? Yeah. To, and it, it says one hundred percent Spanish. I'm on, on the father's side. Wow. I wonder how many of our audience members have taken a test and been surprised like that because I've never heard nobody say a hundred percent of something they wasn't expecting. Listen, I don't. I was like, where is it? <laughs> I could use it. I need, I need some curly hair. <laughs> Maybe it's your right charisma. That's where it comes up. Change your personality. Your, Mm-hmm. Change your name. <laughs> I don't know what you would say. It's Sean Paul. Michelin. That's what I'm going to start calling. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bring it home, bro. We're at the end of this episode. Um, you got any final notes or closing remarks for this that you want to leave people with? What did we learn on this episode today? That we fight. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. And we argue, but we love each other. Absolutely. And you got to be able to do that in a healthy way, right? I don't know how healthy it is when we fight, right? <laughs> but it doesn't get in the way. It don't. And we don't let it at least. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be job, try- just don't be trying to teach me black stuff. I wasn't. I didn't honestly think you, that that you was so. You literally tried to teach me about black people. I didn't know if that was really. I'm like, is Tyler sitting over here? <laughs> That's it, dude. Not me. Not me. But then you understood what I meant. Then we stand on business. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for watching, everybody. We're gonna go get a tiger, and we're hoping that uh, it grows up and treats Rich right. It definitely will, because I'm gonna raise it right. Yes, as if that's gonna be a deterrent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, love you much. Have a wonderful rest of the week. We will see you next time. Be amazing. Be yourselves. I got nothing. Be you. The content on Macmillan and Morrow is provided as commentary on news and current events for entertainment purposes. Hey, everybody on the YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you see, make sure you like and comment and share because we got to spread the joy, people. That's how it goes. See you next time.